Did you know private internet access has been audited to check if they log any of their users' data? And well, did they pass this audit or are they leaking all of your information to third parties? In this review, we're going to break down private internet accesses, privacy, security, performance, and much more, and see if it can compete with other top VPNs. Before we get started with this review, if you want to save a huge amount of money on your next VPN purchase or subscription, check out the links in the description as I have many different discounts and savings that you can get. And you can also easily compare private internet access and other top VPNs to see which is the best VPN for you. So to start off, we're going to take a look at private internet accesses speed. On the left, you'll see the speeds I get when I have no VPN enabled and on the right I have private internet access connected. So far I'm getting a small speed drop on my download speed which is to be expected and I'm now testing my upload speed and again it looks like I'm getting about a 5% speed drop. My ping has increased from 2 to 3 which is very quick and is great for gaming and now let's see what the overall speeds will be. So the final results are in and I'm getting a 6.03% speed drop on my download speed, which is amazing. You'd expect about a 10 to 15% speed drop uh, when you're using a top tier premium VPN. And I'm getting a 3.36% speed drop in my upload speed, which again is amazing. For a budget VPN, private internet access is matching the speeds I'm getting with VPNs such as ExpressVPN. And the ping has barely increased increase is only gone from two to three which again is great perfect for gaming if you want to game with a low latency environment so the speeds were amazing and now i want to take a look at some of the other features that private internet access has to offer first off private internet access offers servers in over 91 different countries and here on the software you can see you can browse through all the different countries and a good feature is that they show your ping in milliseconds to each server so you'll find the closest servers up top and as you scroll down further you'll find the servers that are a bit further away now i do have to say that with private internet access's user interface it's not my favorite when i compare it to other vpns like expressvpn nordvpn surfshark and cyberghost i would take them above private internet access in terms of ui now when i go to the top right here and click these three dots and click on settings i'm able to adjust the protocol for the VPN. So Private Internet Access offers two protocols. They offer OpenVPN and WireGuard. And you can also change the encryption method, whether you want to use AES 128-bit encryption, or you can choose AES 256-bit encryption. Now on the privacy tab, you have a few extra options. You find this with most premium VPNs. They offer a kill switch and a kill switch just stops any IP leaks from happening. If your connection were to drop and then you'd reconnect to the internet, it would first route you through the VPN, which is a great option. You then have an advanced kill switch, uh, which supposedly works even when the VPN is completely disabled. And then you have PIA Mace, which is just another word for an ad blocker, which is built into the VPN. The next feature we have is split tunnel which just allows you to route different software and apps on your computer through the VPN and choose to have other apps not routed through the VPN. So if you want Firefox to run behind the VPN, but you want Chrome to browse on your normal home connection, then you can do that with split tunneling. Next up, I want to do a test on streaming platforms. Lots of people get VPN so they can access different content that's only available in certain parts of the world. You might not know this, but Netflix, for example, has a geo-restricted content. That means some content's only available in the US, for example, or in certain countries in Europe. And you need to have your IP based in that country to be able to access the content. So to test this out, I've gone to this website called Unogs and on Unogs, it displays which shows are available in which countries. For example, you have a show here called The Royal Affair and it's only available in Sweden and Japan. Now I'm not based in Sweden or Japan. So if I go and find a Swedish uh, server to connect to and they actually have a streaming optimized server. So I'm going to connect to that server and now I'm connected to that server. I'm going to refresh Netflix. So as you can see, Netflix is now displaying me the Swedish Netflix and you can see it says top 10 TV programs in Sweden today and top 10 films in Sweden. So if I search for that show which is called A Royal Affair, 
it should show up in my search results and if I wanted to watch it I would be able to watch it and here you go I could click that and watch that show and the VPN has successfully bypassed Netflix's VPN blocks. So the speeds are great and it's bypassing Netflix's streaming blocks. So what problems do we have with private internet access? Well, you might have some issues with privacy and security because the VPN is based out of the United States. The United States is part of the 5, 9 and 14 Eyes Alliance and it's not one of the best countries for privacy. So does the jurisdiction that it's based out of make private internet access a bad VPN? Well, they have been audited multiple times and they do adhere to very good privacy and security practices. As you can see, they utilize the same VPN protocols that are used by other top tier VPNs and they have the strong encryption standards that other top VPNs use as well with AES 256 bit encryption, which is used by most military and governments around the world. Now, when it comes to their no logs policy, they have been audited by Deloitte. Deloitte is an independent firm and has checked through all of their privacy and security practices to make sure they are not logging any of their users data when it comes to browsing data or IP addresses or connection timestamps. That means that even if private internet access is based out of the US and their servers were seized, they cannot pinpoint who has connected when and where and they are unable to identify any of their users. They also utilize RAM only servers that means every time the server is rebooted, all data is wiped. The last thing I want to take a look at is the pricing and private internet access excels at offering great value for money. You can get a 82% discount and three months free if you use one of the links, which is down in the description. The pricing works out to be very cheap when compared to other VPNs. It's very similarly priced to CyberGhost and Surfshark and is much cheaper when compared to ExpressVPN and NordVPN. Alongside that, a little bonus, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So you could always try out the VPN. And if you find that it's not for you, you just have to message them on customer support and they refund straight back into your account. So what is my overall conclusion and summary when it comes to private internet access? I would rate this as my second ranked VPN. I would put ExpressVPN above it as the performance on ExpressVPN is just too good. It's been audited so many times and it's in a better privacy jurisdiction. The main downside with private internet access is that it's based out of the US. But other than that, the performance is very good. So now I just want to answer some frequently asked questions when it comes to private internet access. So now I want to answer some frequently asked questions that I get when it comes to private internet access. The first is, do they offer a free trial? The answer is unfortunately, no, they do not offer a free trial but they have a 30 day money back guarantee. That means you can try out the software, use it for 30 days. And if you're not happy with it, or even if you are happy with it, but you just want a refund, you can message customer support and they'll refund you right away. The next question is, can I use port forwarding with private internet access? And the answer is yes. There's a very simple option here. You just have to click this button and you'll be able to port forward with PIA. The next question is how many devices can I use private internet access on? And you can use it on an unlimited amount of devices. That means your mobile phone, your computer, your laptop, any device you want, you can install PIA on and you could even share it with family members if you want to, to save on your subscription price. And the final question is, are there any discounts or coupons I can get for private internet access? And as I said before, if you check out the links in the description, you'll be able to save a huge amount. You get an 82% discount on your subscription and three months free. So that sums up my review of private internet access. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out any other VPN reviews, comparisons or buying guides, then check out my channel.